Hello and welcome to another beautiful tutorial of 3D Studio Max and uh, I will tell you how to do this within 10 minutes. So let's get started. We will create a cylinder for the pole. Pole is very important. Without the pole the cloth will not simulate. And let's give it a height of 500 units with uh, 3 units of radius. And in the front viewport I will draw a rectangle which is gonna be a flag let's make two one two uh, flags okay one with rectangle and one with plane so I'm gonna hide this plane for the time being and I will use the garment maker first of all on this rectangle and after that uh, this density is very important so this is 0.099 I'm going to use the 0.1 and apply the cloth modifier on it and then select these vertices make a group because they will hang with this pole and then select the cylinder after that I'm gonna go into the properties of the cloth let's declare it with a, as a cloth and select silk for the first time i'm going to select silk either cotton or we can use a stretch cotton but let's start with a silk and then after that we're going to simulate local so the silk is performing well and now for the for this uh, tutorial I need a force of wind so in the forces I'm going to create a wind and rotate in the direction of the wind and after that I need to include this wind into the cloth forces and simulate again so this wind is not performing well okay so let's increase the strength of the wind up to 10 and then simulate again and this is not enough for this cloth let's reset the state and move it a little bit upwards and simulate look at again and it's not giving it a proper shearing of the waves we need so let's reduce this uh, unit we need to increase the value of this centimeter per unit uh, let's do it 5 carefully use this value because it's going to deform your cloth or, or it's going to give you artifacts of the clothes okay let's simulate local again and now the wind is giving the proper animation to this cloth okay as you can see so when it's done or you are if you are satisfied with it uh, one more thing can also increase the animation uh, beauty in your animation is the gravity if you can reduce the value with 550 instead of minus uh, negative 980 and simulate again the flag is gonna move in a better way this uh, direction of the wind really affects the shape of the flag okay so it's up to you how long or how much you want after creating the simulation I mean uh, this is a test simulation finally what we need to do is to set the animation stop the uh, simulation local and set your length of the animation whatever you want or the frame per second your system and after that you need to press this simulate local uh, simulate button the progress bar will show you the animation process and now the animation is complete all right the so finally you need to include the shell modifier to this cloth to just include some add some thickness into this as you can see here and we can reduce the thickness and at the end we need to apply that turbo smooth modifier if you want it if you don't want it you can leave it but this animation is from the garment maker okay this is the difference now i'm gonna hide this uh, this one uh, this flag and unhide the plane 
which has already been created let's uh, with the value of, start with the value of uh, 200 and 300 okay and with this plane I need to show you the actually the difference between the two the two methods uh, let's give it the segments of 60 and 60 okay and then apply the cloth modifier to this plane the same method will be used I need to include these vertices as a group and bind them with the node and finally add uh, I'm gonna include uh, use the silk type of cloth then similar local okay once again this value doesn't play an important role so I'm going to increase the value with 0.5 and simulate again and here you can see the animation has started the waves are good this is the difference between the garment maker and the plane okay and now we need to include this wind force into this cloth and similar local and now you can see the waves are going good you can change the direction of the wind as well the value of gravity is 550 negative 550 as it was given in the uh, the other in the other method now uh, i'm gonna increase the value of wind up to 15 and then simulate again and it's giving me a better result and finally this is the artifact which i had been waiting for this value is very important in this regard so i need to reduce this value up to 0.35 and then simulate again let it go let it go and then we shall get the initial state of the the flag I'm gonna crank it up up to 25 and then see and what is important is the self collision of the cloth which is important so let's add this one with self collision, uh, self collision with the value of 2 and and then simulate again this simulation is gonna get slow a little bit because the cloth is now calculating the self collision as well This is happening again so during the simulation it also happens with the garment maker so for this method I'm going to use now the instead of silk I'm going to use the quarter preset and then simulate local again and see the impact of this the type of the cotton does change the animation parameters and now I can increase the, this uh, centimeter per unit value because this is this cotton cloth. This is not silk. I'm going to crank it up up to 0.6 and simulate again. And here you can see. Let's reset it again. The cloth, uh, the cotton type of the cloth is uh, a little bit thick instead of the silk let's complete it the one cycle of the simulation this corner should go up so it's this calculation does really affect your uh, your computer your processor and the process processing power of your processor I'm gonna reset this and now I'm gonna use this simulate local damped this will not include the gravity of the simulation but it's going to create the first initial stage of your simulation now i'm going to stop this and simulate local you can see the gravity is affecting it so if we reduce the uh, value of gravity but let's crank it up to one up to 1.0 and then simulate again and reduce the the rotation of our wind a little bit down downwards the waves are getting better but the final 
shape of the animation does really matter for us. Let's start with the stretch cloth and then see what the results are. Simulate local attempt. Right? And now I'm going to simulate it local. Right? Here the direction of the wind is downwards just to create a better waves and the strength of the wind is quite much so I'm going to rotate the wind a little bit upwards these waves are now getting better in the final let's reduce the strength up to 10 and finally I'm going to increase the value of uh, gravity and then simulate again I need because I need some gravity over here and now it's getting better so this stage of the flag is set to be initial and then finally I'm gonna simulate this and before simulation you can add this self collision as well if you require that you can apply the turbo smooth modifier if you want that but that is the difference between the two flags now i'm gonna unhide the rectangle and place it right here both of the flags together you can see the final result of the flags that's the difference of the with the plane and with the rectangle all right uh, subscribe like and share and thank you very much for watching this tutorial thank you